it's far more fun letting you try and get it. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully it's enough to settle your debt with me. All the stuff you've trashed of mine over the years. I've never broken anything of yours. Oh, really, James? Do you want to go there? Yeah, I do. OK, what about my He-Man that you ran over on your bike? Uh, my Stretch Armstrong, which you stretched too far? Uh, even my limited edition Air Jordans, which you vomited on after a night out? Uh, no, if I remember rightly, they were my Air Jordans and your vomit. Well, all right, how, how much, how much? Just, what, five grand? <sighs> OK, they've offered me 30,000 for my story. What? Flaming heck! That's a year's wages for most people. Yeah, I know, and I feel bad. It's not like I need it right now. I was thinking of giving it to you and Dad. I thought you could put it towards that house you were thinking of investing in, even though we could never accept it. But why don't you put a deposit on a place of your own? What? You try to get rid of me? I would love you to stay here until I croak it. But, love, that sort of money can set you up properly. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I'm ready for that yet. I'm so proud of you. Both of you. Seeing you both happy makes us the richest parents in the world. So whatever you spend it on, enjoy it. You've earned it. Right, I'm making a brew. Who wants one? Uh, no thanks. Ooh! Yes, the, the, the Ferrari F40 model. I never touched it. It was Freddy that broke it in the playground, so I am not paying for it. Yeah, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about the car. You were, we were obsessed with it, and you said that... We said that one day we'll buy it and... Go through the drive through. Through. So, Yeah, come on, why don't you buy it? I need more than 30,000 for a Ferrari. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, obviously, but you can get a different sports car, maybe. You, there's loads you can get with that kind of money. Wow. I wanted to test drive a few. Fancy a last day out? <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, let me just clear it with work and obviously clear it with Grace. But yeah, th this is exciting. <sighs> okay, no, but seriously, like a hundred, a hundred pounds for for the He-Man and the and the stretch arm that, That's even. Nah. James. You're getting 30 grand. Just 100. 50. Oh, sorry, did I wake you up? No, no, I was awake. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do the bruise. I was thinking as well, maybe we could uh, get something to eat later, you know? My treat. Go shopping. Mm. With a car that gets declined, your apology is also declined. Getting jealous of a fees, it's humiliating. And I hope your neck hurts a lot. Uh, thanks, Toya. I, I owe you one. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye. Everything okay? Yeah, I just bagged the day off. James wants me to go car shopping with him. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, sure. You seem quite excited to go and get him a motor. Oh, yeah, but not, not like a cheaper one, like a, a full on sports car. I mean, I've dreamt of this day since I was a kid just to. Just to go in there and be like, I'll take it. I mean, James will be saying that, and obviously he'll be paying, but I'll know what it feels like. Well, that's good then. Yeah. Um, Michael, there is something that... You know, I should, I should probably get ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this can wait. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, um, okay, um, uh, what were we saying? Well, it's silly, really, but those baby grow designs you've been working on, I thought you might want to create a portfolio and try and sell them. I know you were upset about the job at the factory, but I thought this might help boost your self-confidence a little. Uh, uh, wow. This is... Uh, uh, thanks. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm in a rush. Yeah, it's just me and my bad timing. Well, maybe later we can get out a bottle of wine and go through them together? Yeah, no, no, we can do. Um, I might be a little while with James. You know what he's like making a decision. No rush. Now, go and get James that sports car, but just don't be a cliche and go through a drive through in it. <laughs> drive through? <laughs> Why would we...? <laughs> Nina's just popped upstairs. It was, uh, it was, um, it was you I was looking for, actually. I just, uh, wanted to clear the air about yesterday. 
Honestly, you don't have to say anything. I was overreacting and I'm sorry. And I'm so sorry I told Debbie. It's all right. Uh, you know, you were just trying to do what any partner would do. You were just trying to protect me. I guess I'm just not used to it. But look, can we just maybe forget about it and start again? I promise I won't overstep the mark. I'll wait until you ask for help. Maybe we could have a code word or something, like apples. Maybe not apples, actually. You might just want me to hand you an apple. Probably best not to be any food items, really. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. But don't freak out, but um, I need your marketing help, so... Uh, apples. <sighs> uh, also, you... Uh, you've got a phone tash. This whole time? Yeah. Names are nice for the baby, if it's a girl. But they can't have a name prettier than mine, can they, Daddy? Huh? Uh, no, good idea, darling. Oh, Steve! You've been in the doghouse lots of times. What flowers say, I'm sorry, I was an idiot? Well, it depends on whether it's for your feisty ex or your midlife crisis. Well, that was a bit below the belt. Don't call him me king of the doghouse. Yeah, yeah, fair point. Uh, for Alina. Uh, well, I'd say no less than 20 quid. Otherwise, you'll be having a, uh, another night on the settee. Right, cheers, mate. I thought we were going shopping for my trainers. Yeah, um, look, that might have to wait until next week when Daddy's paid again, all right? Come on. Morning, Laura. Can I ask why you're late? No. You can mind your own business. Well, as senior sales advisor, it's my job to ask. All right, and keep your hair on. I'm only a few minutes late. More like an hour. Oh, and Sarah isn't very happy because you didn't hoover the office like she asked. I did. Uh, no, you didn't. Because she emptied my whole punch out on the floor to try and catch you out, and there's still paper sprinkles everywhere. Sorry, you were saying? I bet James is going to be so happy with his new car. Mm. Oh, Michael must be so proud of his brother. Imagine being able to blow that much cash in one go. Well, if I was paid £30,000 for a magazine interview, I certainly would not spend it on a car. Mm. I would jet off somewhere exotic and warm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, uh, uh, which magazine was this? I mean, I wouldn't want to miss reading all about it, would I? Do you mind? This is a private conversation. So, have you and Tyrone actually been on holiday together? After how he was last night, he wouldn't be coming with me. I would take the £30,000 and sail off into the sunset. Kids these days, all they think about is getting plastered. <clears throat> You're looking at plastering courses. It was a, it's a, I didn't take you down as a potential labourer. Not that women can't do trade jobs, of course, we're not plasterers, plumbers. If I need my pipe sorting, I shouldn't just be thinking of a man. It's for a friend. I think he might be good if I can convince him to apply. Or even just answer his phone. Oh, is, is this a boyfriend? Nah, far too immature. No, he's... Well, he's the boy who smashed up our place. Really? I just feel bad for him. He's not had the greatest of starts in life, and I want to help. Oh, does that sound crazy? If you want to help him, I say go for it. Don't worry about what the people think. You see the world in a better way. Never change. You are perfect just the way you are. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah, I'm going to try calling him again. I'll catch you later. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Woody. Get you out. Nice car. Uh, you think so? Uh, we're on a test drive, but I think I might buy it. Uh, no, James, all right? You, you... I want to be pampered by every garage, and you promised me a, a day of uh, top-end cars, not the first one you see. I thought it might be you two. This is a bit flash. I think it's a good choice? Uh, it's not a choice if it's the first one you've driven. Well, is it safe? Mum, it's a car, not a caged animal. 
Right, look, you mock, but the amount of young people I've seen in that hospital who've been in traffic accidents. It's got all the airbags, man. Good. It doesn't mean you can drive around like a lunatic, though. Absolutely no danger of that. He needs a map just to find the right gear. <sighs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, enjoy. But be safe. All right. And tell me for a bit later. Definitely. Uh, hello, places to go, cast to see. Like a sports car and a footballer. Oh, when you look that cool, I'd say just be cliche. Do you think I should buy it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, see ya. All right, but just make sure I get a free cuppa and, oh, a posh biscuit. I'm actually going to buy this car. Can you believe it? <laughs> Going slower. Cobbles and sports suspension. I do value my internal organs. And this is a cab. Oh, yeah, no, those guys could be going quicker in reverse. your car, sir? No. Look. Yes, it will be. We're just on the test drive. Is something the matter? Can I see your license, please? Can I ask why? It's an automatic. I'm just getting used to it. You're driving on a public road, so I don't need reason for checking. Who was the gentleman you stopped to talk to? It's just a man. Well, I need to see your ID and establish who owns this vehicle. <laughs> uh, look, I I'm not being funny, but you you've still not told us why you're actually stopping us. Can I confirm you're refusing to show me your ID? No, but could you please at least give us a reason as to why you've decided to... I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the car, please, sir. Well, we haven't done anything. Step out of the car now, please. No, no, I need you to stay in the car. to sell our Kelly's story about the murder for £30,000. That's a very high figure. Well, I know they're paying that gay footballer fella 30 grand for his story for some magazine. And this is an high-profile murder case, this love. I'm offering the inside scoop here. Oh, and you do know she were always trouble. Really? In what way? Oh, no, you don't. Cash first, then I talk. <sighs> but we wouldn't pay before we publish. And, because of her age, we can't publish before the trial. All right. Half now, half when you publish. Final offer. And if you don't want the story, I'm sure there's plenty of others who will. Who's your passenger? He's my brother. OK, but we still don't know who you are, do we? Get back in the car! <sighs> Any units in the vicinity of Victoria Street, please respond. Well, look, you don't need to call for backup. I will show you my ID if you just let me get my wallet out of the car. Look, I've got a dealership on the phone. Get back in You'll the car! Get the... back in the car! Yeah, I'm, for you. I'm arresting you for section 25 a pace. What? Hey, get your hands off him! I told look. you to stay in the car! Well, this is just a misunderstanding of... Ah! 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 It's an extravaganza. Well, a, a screening, really, you know, a launch party for the calendar. There'll be pics and behind-the-scenes footage and a, a screening of the full Monty film. That seemed appropriate. Oh, a modern classic. I know it's a bit sketchy, but I couldn't find my best pens. No, the colours and the collage, you know, thing is nice. It's just my naked body on some massive screen. 
the male physique displayed in all its glory, every curve, every crevice. <laughs> you keep your beady eyes off my crevice, thank you. If you need volunteers on the night to handle the talent, I'm a willing pair of hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mary. We're, we're just hoping the, uh, the guys will actually want to attend. We were hoping you might be able to convince them, Steve. There's another part, I'll think about it. Tracy told me that you let the cardiac impaired cat out of the bag. I'm assuming all is forgiven now. We made up this morning, actually, over a latte moustache. <laughs> it's dead romantic, like something out of a Meg Ryan movie. Meg's leading men usually make it to the end of the credits. Might I suggest that Hilary Swank might be a more fitting heroine, with you trying to enjoy the time you have left with your Gerard Butler? Look, I know it seems crazy, but I know I'm making the right decision. Look what he's done to James. Okay. Okay. No, no, he saw uh, two black guys in a flash car, and that was it. Right, well, we can deal with that later, yeah, but right now, I just want to get James to hospital, OK? What's going on here, then? Cos I know both James and Michael, and they are great lads. Pull them for a ratty driving. They're both uncooperative. I know what you're thinking, but it isn't. I was on my own. I had to control the situation. Control the situation? By putting a Webby County player in handcuffs? I didn't know he was a footballer, did I? If I did, I wouldn't have had to pull him. Right, well, you just make sure James is comfortable, and I'm going to get an ambulance, OK? I've got a game this weekend. What am I going to do? What if I can't play? Don't think about that now, OK? Let's just get you to the hospital. I'm sure it'll be OK. PC Tinker's arranging an ambulance for you. As soon as it arrives, if you need any assistance, I'll be happy to help. We'll be fine. Thanks. Uh, PC Tinker's also verified your identity, so I won't be arresting either of you. OK, so uh, Craig vouches for us. Isn't now you believe it? I was just trying to establish the details, that's all. I'm sorry you fell. I hear you're a famous footballer. If I'd have known that, I'd have definitely pulled you over just to get an autograph. My daughter's a massive Weber County fan. Yeah, well, your daughter's a smart girl. <sighs> OK, I've just entered a room and you've both gone quiet. What is it? If it's my blood sugar levels, they are fine. And if it's about Will, then I haven't seen him. You didn't reply, then? No. Well, I've sent him the links to the courses, so it's up to him now. So if it's not that, then what is it? We, um, got you a little surprise. Well, actually, two surprises. Oh, well, three, if you can't be, um... Oh, yeah? <laughs> three? <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. It's to, um, it's to go with your bridesmaid dress. Which is surprise number two. Really? You want me to be a bridesmaid? <laughs> well, I, I mean, a, a groomsmaid, but of course, like, who else would we have? Well, take it that's a yes, then. <laughs> yes, totally, yes. <laughs> Hang on, I thought you said there was three surprises. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't miss a trick, does she? <laughs> Daniel? Daniel. Oh, sorry. It's miles away, then. What do you know about this murder case? I've just had Kelly's mum, Laura, trying to hardball me to buy the story. On her own daughter? <laughs> That's what I thought. Though she claims she's doing it to help Kelly out with some cash for when she gets out. Uh, seems a bit iffy to me, that. From what I know, she's been a bit hands-off with her parenting. Off the record. <sighs> I don't think I want to go anywhere near on the record for this one. Was well, she shopping it about? I wouldn't get my fingers burnt if I were you. OK. Thanks for the heads up. I'm not forgiving you that easily, but it's a good start. What? They're for Alina. I'm dropping them off at the factory now. You take a swing at my date and Alina gets flowers. She was upset. She's not the only one, Tyrone. You could have cost me a relationship last night. Oh, a relationship? You've had two days. I've had bowel movements last longer. Are we really going to talk about things moving quickly? You were in Alina's knickers faster than that factory could make them. No, I wasn't. And it's not about that, but I don't want my children around some weird bloke that I don't even know. He's not weird, just like Alina's not a bimbo. Are you both fighting again? 
No, no, we're just chatting. Sounds like fighting. I want you to stop and help me with my summer project for school. Yeah, Daddy will help you. No, I want you both to do it. OK, love, yeah. We'll both help, won't we, Daddy? Yeah, sure. Not if she's up to her old tricks of lying all the time. No way. Kelly's far too fragile for that. Sorry, um, can I just have a word? You should know that Laura's trying to sell Kelly's story to the press. How could she even think of that? What an absolute low life. That makes total sense. Now that's why she wants to be close to Kelly. Chris refused to buy it, but somebody else might. Right, thanks, Daniel. Great. That's another thing we have to worry about. That poor girl. How are we going to explain this to her, the state she's in? Well, what on earth happened? We didn't do anything. Why did they pull you over? Why do you think? What did you ask? Of course we did. But it wouldn't give us a reason. But don't you believe us? Yeah, of course I do, love. I just tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. Why? When they never give it to us? Can't bend it. It's the cruise shit, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's just wait until the doctor's assessed it. What does that mean if it is? I won't play again. Hey, you don't know that. People do recover. Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. I'll go and get you some pain relief. It's, it's gonna be okay. No, Michael. It's not. My entire career, everything I've worked for, gone because he thought we were criminals. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not going to let him get away with it. And who exactly are you going to report him to? He is the police. The damage is already done. I'm finished. I'm never going to play again. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.